I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. My name is Laura. I'm a luxury realtor. I specialize in Silver Lake and Los Feliz areas. Welcome to my home. What we did was we bought this home as a duplex and it was very small. We tripled the size of the home. We were in construction for three years, so it was a little bit brutal. We pretty much have completed the home with the exception of the backyard. We're just arriving in Silver Lake at this beautiful home that this family just built. Now I get to go to the backyard and see what to do with the new pool area. I love the challenge. I don't mind being a landscape architect. Let's go take a look. This is a beautiful home. And you're Laura? Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Anne Marie. Oh, thank you for coming. Of course. I, I need love, you. I, I need love you. seeing new spaces. <laughs> thank and you. Being your third eye. Thank well, you. let's look at this room here. Okay. Let's think about how many different places we can look. And let's decide what's most important to us. Okay. So when I look this way, I've got the beautiful smiley face, and then I've got earth and tree elements. Yes. In my mind, I want to settle down a little bit in here. This is right what I see when I turn the corner, yeah. and there's kind of a lot going on. Yes. So my thought is that the tree art might ought to move lower. Okay. It's a little bit high off of the sofa back, which is normal. Okay. Most people do that. Okay. And then I might take the smile to another wall. Oh. And then move that plant a little bit closer okay. and sort of hug this moment I can. and define this sitting area. I'm seeing an edge of maybe vintage in here. Could well, it's, you... a, it's a mix. Okay. This, this chair is designed within reach, so we did some high-low, and mm -hmm. we did that off of Milo Brothman. Oh, oh um, my gosh. I know his grandson. Oh, I He's love wonderful. that. He's wonderful. Yes. And then this is a vintage piece that we it bought to like tie it. in. That's um, another piece that's new, but this is a vintage piece here. So we I did... love this leather wrap on this, and I really like the idea of you building on this essence. Yeah. Because it sort of goes with the artwork. Yeah. that I'm seeing as well. But just organizing this a little bit differently. Okay. Um, I'm sure, you know, it moves around if you're it like, my, like me, yeah. my house does. But let's go ahead and create that conversation and let's group the plants together. Oh, So they're just oh, okay. not onesie everywhere. I like that. I think it'll feel more solid in this okay. space. Okay, I like that. leading into your dining area. Mm -hmm. Now you say that you don't use this as often as you do the bar. We don't, yeah. we usually just sit there. I think it's probably not that comfortable. <laughs> right, so my thought is <laughs> let's make this comfortable and, and fun. Now it looks like there is a story here behind this table. This was a cypress tree that grew in front of the house. We had it cut down and then we had somebody mill it and then my wow. husband designed it this with the glass in the middle so it has the relief that you could see the edge. Yes, I mean, live edge tables, very cool. Let's talk about what's happening up here. Okay. Is this a treasure? No. Okay, I'd rather a treasure up here. This feels maybe a little spare. Okay. And we want to ground and warm this space so you'll use it. Okay. So I'm thinking something gorgeous up here that's warming in its lighting. Okay. And remember to just keep it 30 inches off the top so that it's a cozy setting. Okay. okay? Now the chairs. I don't think I want to linger longer in these chairs. Mm -mm. I, in fact, if I leaned back, my mother would kill me. So I would vote for some upholstered chairs okay. with some arms, and I bet you'll spend more time at the dining. Okay, I'm gonna look out here. Okay. What am I gonna see? Dirt. <laughs> How Dirt. much money do you have? 
Well, we spent a lot of money on that pool. Right? So yeah. now what do we do? Now what do we okay, do? Okay, I'm going to go into a dreamscape okay. of what I would do. Okay, I love should, that. Should time allow and money. Okay. All right. First of all, you've got a finished pool and it's beautiful. Thank you. Hot tub immersed. That's my yes. favorite. Baja Ledge. Oh, yes. So you did the right thing. Thank and you. I love that. So that you weren't trying to do everything with that same budget. You put it where it counts. Yes. The first thing we could do is throw a few things away. Okay. Second thing is I got to know the story about the graffiti. What, why do we have graffiti out by okay. your pool? So, my daughter is a great artist. Okay. They were outside with all their friends, and I probably spent $1,500 on... What a good on, mom. Oh, what a good mom. Thanks. <laughs> okay, but we're okay to get over that now. Oh, it can go. So, we're willing to paint over the existing graffiti. We can, we can do it. But you're a good mother. Thank you. Good mother to Thank let you. her do it. I'm looking over here at the pool equipment. Of course, we're going to cover that up with a bit of a shed. Okay. So, I'm thinking if that shed were made out of wood, like a um, wood panel, outdoor, exterior. Could we take that and run it the whole way across here to sort of unite all of these different surfaces? I'm thinking the height of it would be right where that cement block is. And right. just connect those two. Then, what I don't want to see is more hardscape. I love the sense of indoor, outdoor that your home gives, but I love the idea of the wood surrounding, creating kind of platforms. So this would continue here, but then I'd love to see another platform about two thirds of the way over and lift. Okay. Otherwise it might be just too much of the same height. I, I appreciate that, I like that idea. What kind of trees should we use along this fence that you love in the area? Well, there are these trees called podocarpus, and they're along the side of the house And they here. grow big and bushy? And they go okay. big and bushy so yeah. that all along the yeah. back, we start to hide all these elements. So we're gonna try to maybe mirror that tree up along and make it a nice wall. So these chairs are part of your collection. Mm -hmm. I love these blue straps. Thank you. I mean, it is kind of festive here. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is where you'd like to eat. Yes. And the barbecue's over here. But we yes. just have some messy business out here. We have a fortune teller. I don't even know. Don't, don't even know where I don't you want to talk that. about it. Yes. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, we have a table over here, uh, maybe like a serving table. But of course, we really want the table here. Yes. Now. I don't know, but I think I'm seeing doors that open and create an indoor-outdoor aspect to this. They do. Okay, let's get those open. Okay. okay, look what happens here, how these two connect so beautifully. What a connection. Dining here, prep here, just smooth out this transfer here. Yeah. Okay, this is a blank wall. We're going to get rid of the I Dream of Genie or the fortune teller. Okay. And I'm thinking I would go ahead and put on that wall also a pot or a long planter box out of steel so that we can also bring greenery on this side of the hardscape. I'm thinking more of those beautiful tall trees so we can hide that point of view. So you're going to live better out here with these doors open more often. Okay. And some pretty things to look at. Enjoying the pool, but we're gonna erase all of this and create this wonderful, peaceful atmosphere out here. So, and of course, a fire pit. Thank you. Sounds great. I'll Thank look you. forward to rendering this and then showing you what I think this could look like. I have faith. Okay, let's get after it. The experience with Anne Marie was amazing. The tips that she gave me were life changing for the backyard. So I'm excited about implementing them. And I think the first thing we might do is that back wall. Okay, I've got a plan for this backyard and it leads right from inside the house out. It's a perfect indoor outdoor setting. I can't wait to render it and I'm gonna do it from above so I can see all of the parts and pieces. It's a gorgeous day, I love my job. It was easy to tell by just the house that was built by Lara, what she was like. It was beautiful in the neighborhood and it was individual. It was modern, cool in fact. Art that was a big smiley face. I mean, she's taking dares and she's doing it well. And then coming through to the dining room, you could already be a part of the exterior. It just flowed right out. 
and she was smart enough already to put in those multi-slide doors, opening it up to be a true indoor-outdoor space. So my job, to help with that outdoors. She already had a pool and we were going to need to build around it. The only issue was there was so much space. With all of that hardscape about to come into play, I thought the best thing to do would be to add platforms and layers. So putting all of that together in my head, this is what I came up with. We need an element of wood to break up all of the hardscape, all of the concrete, the coping around the pool. And this is waterproof, this is guaranteed. So why not add in some of this as you see in the rendering? Then as you walk out of the house, I think it's a good idea to keep the wood floor idea traveling through to that first area, which is the barbecue area. So putting in a wood tile there will work and it will also warm the space. You've got to build in your barbecue. It's not really great to see it on wheels. So you can see how we built it in and added wood to the front of that to nestle it and again enhance the indoor outdoor aspect. Just behind the barbecue, you could see a lot of houses and maybe a few things you didn't want to see. So we thought let's add some tall trees to create privacy as well. The hardest thing about the space was actually what you see way in the background, which right now is a graffiti wall, but we're going to paint that. And then we need to hide all of our pool equipment. So I thought, let's build a little bit of a small building there, and that will also help hide the houses behind. Now let's talk about her other collection. Not only did she have vintage art and furniture inside, She's also collected vintage furniture for the outside, and that's rare. So we wanted to incorporate some of those colors, which are blues. And so you could see my array of all of these beautiful outdoor fabrics. Can you believe how far they've come? I also thought it might be nice to bring in some of the green because of course we added a ton of trees. All of this seems to create a zone for fun for this family and also some outdoor living. What was really important to me when I was designing the space was that that vintage collector personality that Laura has came through to the outside. She had these chairs, they meant a lot to her, so I needed to react to that in both the color and the style, and I think we did. You can see it yourself in the rendering. It looks fun, and I know they're gonna enjoy it.